In this video, I'm going to use the information we gathered from the last video to make a great clay recipe that enhances the benefits for your hair and your scalp. Then I'm going to give you some pointers on how to use it. Here's everything you'll need. To take advantage of all the benefits we covered in the last video, use all three clays. Bentonite for its strong abilities to remove positive charged toxins from your hair and most importantly your scalp and its high absorption rate which gets rid of oily product buildup. Rasul clay for its high variety and diversity of minerals and kaolin clay for its strong ability to remove negative charged toxins like chlorine, arsenic, and fluoride from your hair and scalp. Each of these clays have something that makes it special and unique. So with the right mix, you can take advantage of all their benefits. Now for the liquid, pH plays a major role in how your clays behave. For instance, a low pH will decrease the negative charge of the bentonite and rasul clays and boost the positive charge of the kaolin clay. And a higher pH will increase the negative charge of the bentonite and rasul and decrease the positive charge of the kaolin clay. So what we should be shooting for is a final mixture with a pH between 5 and 6. Bentonite clay has a very, very strong negative charge. Rasul clay is a close second. So mixing them with a liquid that's slightly acetic will not reduce their effectiveness by much. While with kaolin clay, its positive charge is small but a lot more than bentonite and rasul's positive charge. So it's important to preserve it and not mix it in a liquid that's too alkali that will take away the little positive charge it has. So basically, you can afford to lose some of the negative charge from the bentonite and rasul clays, but you can't afford to lose any of the positive charge of the kaolin clay. That's why a pH between five and six is perfect for this mixture of clays. Okay, here's how to mix it. Make sure you use a non-metal bowl and mixing tool because if the clay comes in contact with a metal, it will begin to adsorb and absorb the heavy metal particles. This will weaken the power of the clay by the time we're ready to use it. We don't want that because we want it to take away heavy metals from our hair and not from a random bowl. Mix half a cup of rasul clay, a third cup of bentonite clay, a fourth cup of kaolin clay with about one cup of distilled water and three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Mix it all together as well as you can. Fun fact! The cooler the liquid, the harder it is to mix with clay. So try using a room temperature liquid instead. You may still notice some clumps because it takes some time for the clay to fully saturate with the liquid due to air pockets. So let it sit for about an hour or so so it can settle in. Then mix it again. That should be enough to get a smooth creamy consistency. After the liquid and clays are mixed, add an organic oil and essential oil of your choice. These are the measurements I use for my hair's length and density. If it's too much for you, you can cut them down by half. Or if you need more, you can double each item. Water is evaporating out as we speak, so cover it up with something to preserve its moisture until you're ready to use it. So from the knowledge we gathered in the apple cider vinegar series and from this clay series, so far we know that apple cider vinegar with the mother has tons of good bacteria and yeast in it. So when you mix it with activated clay, most of us will picture this, the clay zapping and killing all the good bacterium in sight. But that's not how things generally work in nature. Instead, the collision is chaotic, unorganized, and gradual. When you put this into your hair, the bacteria and toxins in your hair and scalp join the chaos. The power of the clay will still do a good job at removing toxins and killing a good number of bacteria. And some good bacteria from the apple cider vinegar will still survive and remain in your hair. On an atomic level, it's a messy dance that will always end with your hair and scalp benefiting.
Using clay on your natural hair is pretty straightforward. I like to use it on my hair when it's damp and flexible, but it's not required. You can also use it on dry hair. Also, doing it on detangled hair makes it a lot easier to apply, but also not required. I like to start with my scalp and massage it in because it's antibacterial, detoxifying, and product buildup removal abilities are really important for your scalp. So I wanna make sure I focus some time here and make sure it's fully coated. After that, I coat my hair strands and quickly put it up into a loose bun before it dries and hardens. Now, some people like to put on a shower cap and some people don't. Both are not wrong. It depends more on what you're looking for. If you don't have much product buildup on your hair and you don't need the clay to dry up and absorb it, then you can wear a shower cap. If you want it to absorb more oils, then leave it off so the clay can dry up and harden. If you have clay left over, do yourself a favor and coat your face and neck with it. If you don't use clays often on your hair, and you're looking to get more of a clarifying effect, you can let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you use them often, or you don't have a lot of product buildup on your hair, five to 10 minutes will do. After rinsing it out, you have a few options. You can stop here. Just make sure you lightly coat your hair with an organic oil to keep it lubricated. You can use a conditioner. You can do a herbal hot oil treatment or you can do a real protein treatment. One last thing. You can consume clays for a whole bunch of health benefits. Just make sure the label says it's safe to consume. Follow me on Instagram for hair updates, new video post notifications, and natural hair facts. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.